Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will continue with our REST API series. So as of now we are able to do the get, we are able to get all the list of users which we have inside our database through REST API. We are able to create new user through REST API. But now we want to edit or manipulate the user information using REST framework and also if I want to delete any particular user how to do that and that we are going to cover in this video so stay tuned with me so now the idea is we want to uh, for example let's say if we are, I want to change the name of this user here the first user first thing somehow I need to tell Django that hey dude go and uh, find the ID one and uh, do some changes to this name there okay so this is what you need to provide some search criteria to Django to to find out the object for you and then manipulate the new data but how we gonna pass that information to Django is through URL because that's what we are passing all this information through URL so if you want to manipulate like user ID one then you need to provide here so all you have to do is you can type one or whatever user ID and hit enter and you will see error page not found perfect because we haven't created a URL which handle this request and that's why we are seeing error 404 so how to solve this first we will create a URL which understand which allow us to add new uh, I mean a number after our user list how to add that it's very simple Go back to our urls.py here you remember we created this url for url list and that's what this file is saying this is saying that hey inside your django you you have only these two url pattern so you can just follow or both of uh, either uh, any one of them and uh, what you are providing is this did not match with any of these so we will create one which will match with this pattern so let's just copy the entire thing first okay we are going to use the same one and here we will provide one more regular expression here and there we are expecting that every time we will provide a user id and user id means not the employee id this this actual the database id okay so that database id if you want to provide a number here so for that what you have to do is you need to use this regular expression and that is actually start with a question mark and hit p and uh, it's basically the digit that we are actually going to use here that will be employee id and then and this will be the name of the variable that we will pass wait i will show you everything just a minute and then plus okay and then you are in this perfect back yes so you need to use this regular expression here after the URL which you type here so if you have URL list it will be like this if you just provide if you just provide URL list you will see all the users but if you provide a number then you will see a different error because the employee id is not the argument you provided you are providing an argument but that uh, the function the class which is actually pointing to this is don't have any argument which, which is actually quite genuine correct so don't worry don't get confused with this i will show you step by step so we just added a url let's just go back to the api.py and here we will do one thing first of all let's just create a new class and uh, I mean it's why we are actually duplicating so many things so basically we can just copy this entire stuff and uh, paste so we will create a another API for that because since we have the different URL so different class different, different API class for that okay so URL detail so this will be url detail and here instead of uh, beside request we also need employee id we need employee id in get we need employee id in post i mean 
post is not actually post it it should be actually put because we are not posting anything so it will be put okay now one thing that we need to see i mean step by step i will show you if you directly go and copy the stuff you will see error and i want to show you those error first so this should be users what the user where where okay we haven't import that user detail user user detail so now at least we will not see the error which we will see that argument is wrong perfect we are not seeing that error which is argument is wrong and we are just redirecting to the same page which is fine no issue i don't have any issue at this time let's just go back to the models sorry just close this model confusing us go back to our api.py and inside api.py you know because this user detail is actually returning this every item and we have the this argument which is employee id but we are not using this we should use this right how we can use that here we are saying that hey our model is actually all and that's why it's returning all so instead of returning all we will just get and once you say get you need to provide some criteria what what you want to get i say i want to get if the id equals to employee id so i want to get that item and also don't forget to remove this many equals to true because again you will see error i will show you the error first then i will remove perfect you see that users are not iterable you will see that because this if you provide many true that means serializer expecting that you are providing a array or a list but this is not a list this is just one item that we are getting so many true is not good idea we just provide model and now we are only able to see rajiv sharma perfect we are seeing only rajiv sharma if you change the id to two you will change different user if you provide it for three okay you provided something which is not even exist then you will see a error which is does not exist and we need to handle these kind of stuff inside our code because otherwise you will, if users see these kind of stuff uh, in their code or in the production level it is not good so how we can handle that we can handle at uh, this level at uh, model level so we can try try get model accept users dot does not does not exist if user does not exist then return response and uh, here we will say uh, response will be our Uh, what about this yes let's try that yeah it's saying that hey whatever item we are providing it's not found or maybe we can just make more user readable which is uh, negative format string and we can say employee or user with employee id is not found in perfect right makes sense let's just go and run and uh, here you can see that user with the 23 is not found in database so then if somebody type wrong at least they see some some information let's see if we can provide some status also so status because right now is the status is saying okay but that's not this is not okay so status equals to status dot what should be the best fit for this uh, no content uh, not found let's see ah 404 not found that will be fine so let's just say 
perfect now we see that our status code is 404 not found and with that we can handle if the item that user is typing is not exist then it will come okay so let's just go and type uh, three three is exist so we get the data and uh, status is 200 which is okay perfect so guys with that we just get one user information and now let's say we have put also here and with put if we trying to put this information i mean we trying to edit this information then how are we gonna edit that so guys if you want to edit that then you need to provide the model again because without model it will not work so again we'll just go with this try except first because this is what we should use okay and uh, now we have this model and we need to provide this model here perfect okay uh, everything looks fine and uh, let's just save this and i know there is a repetitive stuff here and we can reduce this two lines actually we can create one function which will just return the object if the object is found then this is that but this is like optimization we will do it later first i want to just give you just give you a quick understanding what's going on here okay so so far let's see what are the allowed methods here which is get and put perfect get we are already getting now let's just use put how are we going to use put let's just change the age and put in a json format and change age to for example 15 and don't use comma this okay let's just put wow what we are seeing is employee id name and ranking all is required because you can't actually leave this empty so you must provide all this information and this is because when we design the database you see here where is where is our database 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 model you see we have only these two fields resume and photo which is actually null true blank true rest all are mandatory so even if you send a put request this will be mandatory you, you can't skip this there is method there is one method which actually you can use to actually make this required uh i mean not required for uh, editing this data and but the good idea is, is always provide the data which actually you want to manipulate i will show you just one example later you can actually go to give you an idea for example i just want to make this name field non-required i can just use here name inside our serializers.py I go to the user serializer because this is what we are using here user serializer right so here in user serializer if we can say that uh, name and the name equals to we will make is a read only field and what is this this is a char field right so what we can use is uh, char so we can say serializers dot and then this will be actually our char field Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. char field and we can say required false okay let's see so age again let us go back you just see that previously we see name but now we are only seeing employee id and ranking let me just uncomment this sorry and now run this you see that name is again back it's required so it's up to you where you want to control you want to control at serializer level or you want to control at uh, model level it's up to you i just showed you both method if you want to control at model level you can go and uh, just put null true blank true here and make migrate it will done and if you want to make on serializer level then also it's fine completely up to you but in our case we are going to make this required 
false because we don't want any field to be <clears throat> so employee id is a char field let's just make this also required false and uh, ranking is actually a float field let me check again what was the ranking ranking is a float field so go back to the serializer it is a float field required false let's go back to our user right now age 32 copy uh, sorry okay let's just put it perfect without any problem we just updated the age to 15 let's just go and change to something like 88 put perfect it's editing no issue no error so far so guys we are almost done with that but without delete we are never done because if you don't provide delete then your user end user will keep creating lot of junk inside the database so how you can create delete method i will show you in my next video thank you guys